In this video, I'll be going over 10 fragrances that last you eight plus hours. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm not gonna keep you too long before we get into our first fragrance. I just wanna welcome you if it's your first time. And if you're back, I'm glad that you're back. Now let's get into our fragrance. The first one I wanna introduce you to or show you is Pure Malt and it's by Mugler. This one has a fruity top note, but to me it smells a little bit more like if you had a barrel and you're going to put alcohol in it, but the malt's in there first and it kind of sits there for a little while. It's a bit smoky. It is a masculine scent, but not like a fouché or anything like that. It is soft and woody, uh, a little bit spicy, with a really good amount of malt. The top notes, like I said, is fruity at the beginning, but it wears off pretty quick. This fragrance right here will last you about eight hours and it will keep you through the day or night. The projection on this one is about three foot. I wish it was just a bit more. It doesn't protect quite as much as I would like, but it does stay for eight hours and more. It's a great fragrance by Mugler. That's pure malt. The next one I have for you is Versace Eros. Now this is the original one. This one has vanilla, mint, and tonka bean. So it's a really sweet one. They just came out with a perfume version. Um, this one's almost nuclear on me. I tried the perfume version. I put, sprayed it on a little card and left it in my car. It's been like a week ago. And the car, when I get into it, it still smells like Versace Eros, the new formulation. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'll be good with the original one. It smell to me almost the same. It's not worth for me to get the perfume version of it. This is Versace Eros. You got mint, tonka, and vanilla. This one definitely lasts eight hours and has enormous protection. It's a great clubbing fragrance if you need one of those. When your body heats up, this one really performs well. So the second one over eight hours, Versace Eros. My third fragrance for eight hours plus is a little bit fresher. It is Aqua di Gio and it's the Profumo. The original Aqua di Gio is just a little bit dated, but you can still pull off the Profumo and it performs really well. Some of the notes in this fragrance are aquatic and you have some smoke and you have lime, which make Aqua di Gio Profumo incredibly versatile. You can wear it at night, you can wear it outside, you can wear it to work. It's a really great fragrance. I have the big bottle here. It's like a five ounce, I think, because I really enjoy that fragrance. And it's one of those you can just grab and you know you smell good all day long. And that's my third one, Aqua di Gio. And that's the Profumo. It would last you eight plus hours and it would radiate about arm's length. So the fourth one I have on this list for eight hours plus is Boss Bottle and it's the Intense. This one right here has apple, vanilla, cinnamon, and this one dries down to a nice cedar and sandalwood composition. This is a wonderful fragrance. It's also incredibly versatile. You can wear it to work. Uh, it's a little bit deeper. If you like something for the outdoors in the, in the hotter days, you might want to go with the original. But the Intense is just a little bit more dense, probably for a little bit of the cooler weather that we're having now. So that's Boss Bottle Intense. Definitely get you eight hours plus. And uh, projection on this one is it's actually pretty good. It's about arm's length. So that's Boss Bottled Intense, our number four. My number five is Bentley for Men and the Intense. You have rum, smoky and woody notes. It's a loud fragrance, enormous sillage. La fragrance will last way past eight hours. This fragrance will make you smell like a rich oil guy from Dallas all day long. That's Bentley for Men and it's the Intense. A really good fragrance and it's relatively inexpensive. My sixth fragrance in eight hours plus fragrances is Armani Stronger With You. It's not the Intense Lay, it's just the Stronger With You with the chestnut. This one has some vanilla and cardamom. There's also pineapple in here that sweetens this fragrance up. There's no rum in here, even though it does stay a bit linear, just like the Bentley earlier. However, I could see 
adding rum to this and I think it actually would make a nice little fragrance. It does not have rum in it though. Yeah, we just have some pineapple, vanilla, cardamom, but it does stay a bit linear, but it is a beautiful scent. It will last you way past eight hours with a, just a few sprays. My number seven fragrance and something that lasts you eight plus hours is Victor and Rolf and it's Spice Bomb. This is a really unique fragrance. This fragrance has some tobacco, pepper, and um, spices. This one makes you feel like you're in an exclusive spice bazaar surrounded by leather. It's a really wonderful fragrance and it's really unique. You have to get your nose on this one and try it. That's the original Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I know there's an extreme out there, I don't have it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I really love this one and I don't need it to protect or be any stronger than it is. But let me know in the comments if the extreme is worth it, if it's different enough. Maybe I'll get my nose on it someday. But anyway, my number seven is Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This one makes you feel like you're in an exclusive Spice Bazaar surrounded by leather. It's really good. My number eight fragrance in this list is Sauvage and it's the Eau de Parfum. Now Sauvage has a ton of Ambroxan and Szechuan pepper in it. Now it's a good thing that Sauvage has a little bit of vanilla and lavender in it because this one protects like a beast and it stays way past eight, nine, 10 hours with just a couple of sprays. Has a wonderful dry down. It's a great fragrance for eight hours plus. That's Sauvage de Eau de Parfum. My number nine fragrance that will last you eight plus hours is Azaro and this is Wanted by Night. This one to me smells like a lavender fruity bar of soap and as you wear it slowly, the warmth and the depth of the fragrance comes out. At first it is kind of almost too much for me. You gotta be really careful with the Azzara Wanted by Night. I mean, only a couple of sprays and let it sit for a little while. Don't spray this one on and get into a car with somebody else, you will choke them out. So it takes a little while before it smells good. I actually have this one on me today and after about 30 minutes or so, it's a really lovely fragrance. It smells like a soapy, fruity fragrance, like soap, that then the, the depth of the remaining notes comes through after a while and it's, a, it's actually really good. And that's Azzaro Wanted by Night. My number 10 fragrance is another Armani and it is Armani Code Absolute. In this fragrance, you will find some vanilla, tonka and suede and it is just a really great fragrance. I like it much better than the, than the original code. It's my favorite from the code, actually. This one will last you way past eight hours and it has really good protection, you know, about arm's length. And it's just a dry down and it, it's just a wonderful fragrance to wear. It's nice and easy. To me, it's always very comforting to wear this one. It's just nice, smooth and a really well done fragrance. So that's my number 10 for fragrances that will last eight plus hours. Of course, there could have been many, many, many more fragrances that you could put in a list eight plus hours. These were just some that I have in my collection that I really enjoy wearing. And maybe you wanna go out and check them out and see what you think. Let me know in the comments which ones last eight hours plus on you. We could have put in things like Dolce & Gabbana The One, the perfume version, However, it doesn't quite last eight hours for me. It's just a bit under eight hours, but it's also a great fragrance. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. If you got anything out of it, consider. If you didn't, I'm sorry, maybe in the next one.